uh, when we look at the history of Boston, I study historic preservation, right? So the people who um, are counted as preservationists and people who do other sorts of types of civic participation, those people are valued. And we look at Roxbury um, and a lot of the, as you guys well know, a lot of the different types of um, uh, headlines that have come out, you know, by the Globe and other other newspapers, not the Bay State Banner, are talk about the, sh the souring of Sugar Hill, you know, and how how sad um, that Rocks Roxbury folks have been taken advantage of in that way. Um, but the key thing and, and what we're gonna need to see more of um, as we head forward in this moment of real climate change is what to do with like what Byron was saying, you know, to create housing for all those people uh, in Back Bay who are gonna be moving somewhere and something that Roxbury citizens did um, in a way to combat these big structural forces coming against them was they would take their houses, so their single family houses. I mean, talk about adapting, you know, adapting those single family houses and two family houses into multi family dwelling units to produce more uh, rent that could offset their mortgage costs, their taxes, their, their maintenance costs. Um, the great Senator, former Senator Ed Brooke, you know, he said in his autobiography, the only way he was able to afford to pay off his, his mortgage um, and to maintain his home was by carving up, help continuing to carve up his, what was originally a one family house into four units um, that, you know, were, they all had light and air. So they were, they were good stable units. Um, but the, the reason this is important is that you're going to have to keep reusing things and not just building more housing in a way to be sustainable is to take what we already have and to um, reuse it.